over at the Mass for Migrants. Colonel Roger Mahoney is here. We're in Coachella, California. And we were told he's in an adjoining room. We're going to see if he'll meet with us. This is Cardinal Mahoney. How are you doing? Cardinal Thank Mahoney. Thank you very much. Uh, we're with uh, We the People Rising. Uh, we're a group. Uh, we work a lot with uh, immigration. And we also work with veterans and with the homeless and uh, mentally ill and that sort of thing. And we're concerned about the already overburdened uh, problems that they're that we have now in, with those groups mm -hmm. and, and to be bringing in more people into our country, more poor people, into an already overburdened uh, system is, is a concern to us. And you know, that's why we're here. That's what we do. That's what we do all the time. Mm -hmm. And we thought we'd come and talk to you. Well, the good thing is I retired. So, I just do ministry. I don't have to deal with all these issues and all of the politics and all the rest anymore. I just to be able to say mass with people and enjoy being a priest. Enjoy the thing. So, you, I went, this is way beyond my pay grade now. That's it. That's okay. <laughs> yes. I'm Dr. Newman and I'm from okay. Redlands. Oh, good. good. And I'm good. also with We the People Rising. Well, all of these groups that have, uh, you mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, Veterans and everybody else, we have great needs. Homeless. Amen. You know, Amen. The, you know, in Los Good. Angeles, we have thousands. And so many of them, uh, as I talk to them, I see around where I am in North Hollywood, on uh -huh. the streets, and they all have, many of them, most of them, have mental illness right. issues. That's true. You know, and uh, just in the Times the other day, it was it said it cost about at least two billion dollars to try to deal with the 60,000 homeless just in Southern California. So yes, the count so comes out every uh, every January. Yes, it's right. the homeless exactly. count. Exactly. Yes. Uh, I, so I also have a, I have a question. Uh, oh, I don't have any answers. I'm retired. <laughs> <laughs> These gentlemen no, no, no. have answers. I just yeah, celebrate oh, mass. But sir, you have a lot yeah. of input as to what <laughs> you say to the community, to the churches, you have a lot of a lot of input because of your status. Yeah. Okay. So Even so though you're retired, so, sir. So my concern is the FBI, director of the FBI, says that Syrian refugees cannot be vetted. You know, because there is no database. Uh, sure. You know, and and and, and, uh, and and a lot of people are, <clears throat> a lot of people from other <clears throat> Islamic countries. Right. You know, go into Syria. <clears throat> get a get a fake passport, sure. you know, and they can't be vetted. Right. And and then then so why why is the Catholic Church uh, uh, encouraging uh, more uh, refugees from Syria? It, 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 oh, in quote oh, from Syria. No, I I, I, I mean, the I mean, Catholic Church is not encouraging them. It's just uh, Syria is absolutely a disaster. Yes. Yeah. 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 The, the ones we know most, obviously, the ones we have relationship are the Syrian Christians. They're the ones being hev heavily persecuted yeah, because yeah. they're Christians. Yeah. Those are the ones that we know, are, you know, that, that, that come to us. Yeah, are the no, Christians. No, no. Uh, Can I interject? I, I, I understood that uh, there's only been uh, like like a dozen uh, Christians from Syria that, that have been allowed no, my, to come into our country, but, but it, it, it's mainly uh, of... I have it, nothing to do with that. Yeah, well, yes, <laughs> nothing to do with yes. that. Our contacts with the, the bishops in the Middle East are with the Syrian and Iraqi Christians. Those are the ones that we deal with. Very good. I understood yeah, yeah. this Mass today was to encourage I, I'm, I'm not in charge of this Mass. I'm just here to come celebrate. But, but is this mass to um, encourage and support the Syrian refugees? You have to talk to the bishop of the diocese. So when you we agree, wanted to. Yes. When you agree we thought to you were mass, him. <laughs> when you I'm, agree to Father, you look distinguished enough. I'm just <laughs> going to come celebrate and pray for all Amen. refugees, migrants, and immigrants around the whole world. Okay. That's e what e I'm going to e do. E e e e is, e e is, is the Catholic Church getting uh, funding for, for for settling refugees? I have no idea. I've uh, been you happily have no retired idea. for five I, I, years. As high as you I are, 
I, I don't even go to the business meetings for five years. Where, when you were, when where, you were all these, where all these things they give reports? When you were practicing, was that the case? Five years ago? About what? That the Catholic Church was getting federal government money to... We have been resettling refugees with funds from the United States government since the early 1800s. Well, that's the answer to the question. Yeah. Yes, very good. There's no... Every, no there's every no organization, reason to suspect that has changed. Every, every organization that, that's approved to resettle, like the, the all kinds of Jewish uh, resettlement, uh, Lutheran resettlement, all of these groups, all, they all get... Uh, some kind of assistance. Anyway, I have to give us. God bless you. Thank you. You are wonderful. And bless you. Keep up your good work. Good. Keep up Thank your you, good sir. work. God love you. And you, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I tell you, it's great to be tired. <laughs> I'm just retired. Myself. I can't wait. That didn't seem to do any good. Uh, we didn't get an answer, and uh, basically we have to talk to somebody else that has...